more internal memos hacked from the DNC servers have been released. And now this one's being called the Hillary Clinton dossier. This is a 42 page leaked DNC document titled Clinton Foundation Vulnerabilities Master Doc Final. And it shows that the Clinton Foundation scandals are the major vulnerabilities for what the DNC has been preparing for. Now it totals over 22,000 words in length and it paints a portrait of a political party that's been besieged by media coverage of foreign Clinton Foundation donations. But I really think they overprepared because as we've seen, that really hasn't happened. Now, obviously, some media outlets have reported on these things, but they haven't really done a lot of digging into exactly what was going on. But the DNC, as you can see, was really prepared for them to go after a lot of her scandals. Now, these are politically toxic to the DNC as far as the Clinton's foundation's acceptance of foreign donations during her tenure as Secretary of State. Um, the Clinton Foundation received donations from individuals tied to Saudi Arabia while she served as Secretary of State. And indeed, we reported on how there was a video that briefly surfaced. It was immediately taken down, but it was a Saudi prince talking about how uh, they had invested almost 25 million into Hillary Clinton's campaign, even though she's a woman. You know, look how liberal he is. He He's helping to prop up our political leaders here, which, of course, is illegal. So that right there looks very bad on her. Uh, but you can see in all the sections um, titled Clinton Foundation, individual foreign donors. These are headlines that people working for the DNC kind of made up themselves showing they were really concerned about these scandals and they internally knew that this was a big problem. Why can't the rest of America uh, see that as well? People who are still with her. And also they go on to talk about the debacle that was the Clinton Foundation's handling of billions of dollars of taxpayer funds uh, going to help rebuild Haiti. A complete disaster there. Now, that was in 2010. Many of those people are still living in tents but the Clinton Foundation did a really good job at building up a nice resort and a five-star hotel. So good job. While the, a lot of the billions of tax, tax dollars are just laying waste there. Um, and also, too, this is kind of showing the vulnerability of the servers because the Clinton Foundation said that her servers have uh, been breached by Russian hackers. But the Clinton Foundation says, you know, well, we didn't we haven't been notified of the breach and they declined to comment even further even though they have released documents showing the names of donors, uh, how much they have given to the Clinton campaign and a lot of other personal information, but they're going to deny and say everything is okay. Hillary Clinton came out today and attacked Donald Trump on the economy. She was basically saying that if you give Donald Trump, uh, put him behind the steering wheel of American, uh, the American economy, he's gonna likely drive it off a cliff and working families would bear the brunt but hopefully Donald Trump will respond with the obvious that that's exactly what the Democrats have already done. They've driven the economy over the cliff and her husband actually signed NAFTA. So five million jobs were transferred to low wage authoritarian hell holes in China and Asia. Democrats are, of course, pushing hard for uh, the TPP, which is uh, a central player in TPP is Vietnam. The average hourly rate there is a dollar five per hour. And so a lot of transnational corporations are just chomping at the bit to get this passed so that they can ship even more jobs offshore uh, where they're going to be able to rake in higher profits because it's lower costs of labor and compliance costs. So we're going to be hearing that giant sucking sound once again. Hillary Clinton, who helped uh, cobble together the TPP, she called it gold at one point. Now, after they were able to get that fast track authorization, she said, oh, actually, you know what? I don't think it's such a good idea because she knows what it's actually going to do to workers. Meanwhile, she thinks she can come out and be a huge hypocrite and talk about how Donald Trump doesn't know what he's doing.